This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Friday, 9th June 2023. I am Maditola Coyote. President Bola Hamed Tinobu has signed the Constitutional Amendment Bill unifying the retirement age and pension rights of judicial officers and other related matters. While signing the amendment bill into law, President Tinobu pledged his administration's dedication to strengthening the judiciary, ensuring the rule of law, and empowering judicial officers to execute their responsibilities effectively. Meanwhile, the president has met with a group of great politicians within the People's Democratic Party PD. DP, known as the G5 governors. Former governors Yesom Wike, Samuel Otom, Okeze Piazu, Ifan Yogwai, and Governor Shei Makinde say they will continue to meet with President Tinubu on the way forward on nation building, which they say is a difficult task but one that requires constant evaluation. Governor Babajide Sonwolu has made his first set of appointments for his second term in office with the reappointment of his chief of staff and deputy Tayo Ainde and Goye Gasho Yonwo. Sonwolu also appointed Abimbola Salu Undei, a federal commissioner at the National Population Commission, representing Lagos as secretary to the state government SSG. Salu Undei is also a solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. The appointments announced by the head of service Hakim Murio Kumola takes immediately immediate effect. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has been charged over his handling of classified documents after he left the White House. 76-year-old Trump faces seven charges, including unauthorized retention of classified files. The charges are not yet public. It is the second indictment of Trump and the first ever federal indictment of a former president. He is campaigning to make a return to the White House in 2024. Legal experts say the indictment will not limit Mr. Trump's ability to run for presidency again. Trump, however, posted on social media that he is innocent and had been summoned to appear at the federal high court in Miami, Florida, where he will be arrested and hear the charges against him. He said he never thought it is possible that such a thing could happened to a former president of the United States. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And it's another weekend. Make it count. Enjoy.